can't just talk about the GC teams. There was other things happening as well. We'll get on to Mass Pilsen and that win. But Ben Healy was quite a popular winner. Both of you big fans of him. Paddy Dunn as well. It was quite funny on stream, the amount of Ben Healy mentions. But Ben Healy, such a good ride by him. First year of Italia, winning that stage. But the reason why we're talking about him, not because like some other outlets said he's going to win, uh, get on the podium uh, in the Giro Italia, which is a bit laughable. But that aside, 22 years old and his contract is up. And this is why we're going to talk about it because Patrick wanted to talk about it. I was just thinking about, like you say, his contract's up and he's just been looking stupendous so far this year. You know, he is, if you were to stop the season now and say, give me the top five riders of the season, Ben Healy would probably be up there for me. I think that he's been incredibly consistent, fantastic performances. With his contract running out, I wanted to kind of discuss where would be best for him to go. Would it be to stay at EF? Or is there another team out there which might be better for him? Astana. Astana, oh God. Yeah. His, so here's my thinking. is that I think EF works nicely for him because they're very freeing with their uh, breakaways they're quite happy to let riders go and break away because they don't really have like a like they do have carapaz as their gc contender but he's not here so therefore but they do still send riders into breakaways even when they've got a big gc focus so healy's good there and they also don't really have an ardennes leader so therefore healy is sort of going to be their ardennes lead next year if he stays there but is there a team which he could go to where he would perform better because he would have more team support or is there a team which could really use a rider of his quality? It's like, I don't know. Will Yumbo just try and mop him up, basically? You would think maybe a, a team would want to sweep him up, but I just think EF fits for him, if you get what I mean. It's an Anglo team. He fits with the vibe. We spoke about it the other week. He's a sort of, he's a young guy. I think he shoots things on film, camera. He sort of wears vintage clothing. He's very EF. I think with the staff there and sort of their style, I think it really fits with Ben Healy. I mean, I've listened to like interviews he's done and interviews with like staff members at EF and they all seem pretty on board with Healy. And I think with the warmth he's been getting and opportunities he's been getting with the team at this young age, why would you leave that setup to go elsewhere? Mm-hmm. It's not like he's suddenly risen like out of nowhere. Like he's he's been given opportunities, he's been given the chance to like go for it and chase his own ambitions, and it's worked. If he were to go to like a Yumbo Visma, will he have the same opportunities? I don't know. But then we we always have the perspective of we are fans. We are watched. We we watch this hoping Ben Healy can win every race on planet Earth. Well, like where he no 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 no, no but like we, we want to see the best racing possible. We want to see him like really fulfill his his potential like we want to see him become the best version of ben healy possible that's probably more likely ef than a uae than a yumbo but in terms of budgetary sort of requirements and the money we don't quite know what they're offering or maybe they're saying more grand tour appearances but i think ef have already given him a grand tour appearance he's got a stage win he's justified himself strongly enough here it's not like he's being snubbed i think for opportunities like other riders out there yeah. yeah, I don't see him going to any French team. I don't see him going to any non-English speaking team. So that limits it already. Trek to Gafredo potentially. Quick step, I don't see. I mean, they've they had Dan yeah. Martin in the past, but it's a Renko project now. So like Ineos won't work because Healy just works as an Ardennes rider really well, which he's shown that this year. And they've already got Pitcock as their main name. They wouldn't bring in another guy to almost undermine their star guy in the Ardents, even though Pidcock hasn't been, you know, perhaps firing on all cylinders this year. He is still in Yoss's big investment in the Ardents, and bringing in somebody else to undermine that doesn't make sense. I was thinking Yumbo, in all honesty, because think back to the Ardents for Yumbo this year. They sent, I know Roglic is going to the Giro this year, which is a little bit different. So Roglic is usually their leader for the Ardennes, but they sent Tij Benoit and Attila Volta as their leaders this year. Healy's did better than them in in everything. Apart from La Flèche Wallonne. Granted. But, 
you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Jumbo tried to get him because, you know, with Roglic going towards the twilight of his career, I guess you could say, are they maybe looking for somebody to do the hard ends? They've already got Wout and Christophe Laporte, such a strong cobbled team. Actually, their hard ends isn't that great, to be honest with you. Healy might be a really good option, especially since they've got Archie Ryan in there development team if they brought him up that'd be a cool little irish duo to have and you know he'll work as a domestique as well and yumbo do sometimes send their riders in breakaways but not as much as he have to yeah i actually i see yumbo as the most sort of legitimate pathway but oh outside of ef but with healy's pathway he has been fiercely independent or at least tried to sort of uh write his own story i think well i believe he was rejected from the u well the Great British mountain biking team had to sort of find a new pathway into the sport. Picked up his Irish racing license through his grandparents. Started racing for Ireland, had opportunities there with road racing and so forth. And then sort of had, had, had his chances there. Signed for the Trinity squad, which is quite a sort of international, uh, innovative project. Tom Glogue, for instance, came from there, who writes a, a number of sort of promising upcoming uh, Anglophone talent is currently on the Trinity squads and they seem quite interconnected with a bunch of sort of high profile teams. And for him, I, I think he'll continue being sort of independent. That means probably not going to Ineos, probably not going to like a UAE and so forth. I think he'll stay at somewhere like EF, maybe Yumbo as well. I think both of those could be quite neat fits for him. Uh, I mean, we haven't mentioned DSM, but yeah. We're going with Koi, aren't we? There's been a rumor about me. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we haven't talked about that either. Koi, um, apparently going to DSM. That seems like... I don't even know if this is just fully just rumors or whether there's actually any waiting behind it. I mean, it would make sense. He's not really going to get the opportunity to use in a Grand Tour for Jumbo Visma if they're kind of going for onslaught here at the Giro, at the Tour, and at the Welter. So. But DSM, though, man. I mean, they, they don't have a lead you know, out. It seemed like they had a pretty good lead out in the Giro, but they were working for Meinhofer. If they had a Koi in there, that maybe they could have been in stage contention, potentially. It'll be like the youngest lead out train ever. It'll just be like a load of 18, like 20 to 18 year olds leading out. <laughs> It'll have Koi. It'll be the most hectic thing there's ever been. <laughs> I think that Koi needs to go to another team. Absolutely. I know this is like a complete different tangent now, but Koi does need to go to a different team. Absolutely. He's one of the fastest sprinters in the world. He could certainly develop into one of the fastest. It's just which team would suit him best. I just don't really know. I could see DSM, how that does kind of work. Because is, is DSM? Is, is it a Dutch team? I know someone oh, was I'm German. German now. Well, are they Dutch? I'm not, the team kind uh, of changes. The historically Dutch. I don't know if their racing license is Dutch in the moment, but like their staff members are Dutch teams owned by Dutch people. Yeah. DSM is a Dutch company. Yeah, Dutch, Dutch. They're uh, registered Dutch now. So, so Just, yeah, it's got to be a team which has decent sprinting enough pedigree, but they need somebody better who's going to like oh. execute. Well, the other part of the rumor was DSM and a French team. French team was not disclosed which French team it was, but um, that one was left open. You would assume a well taught squad, which would leave Arkea, Azure Desert, Citroën, and Groupama on the table. One of those teams is in need of a younger sprinter, Groupama. It's true, because they do have Damar, but like Damar this year has done barely anything. He's he just about top five for, for freaking Loire Tour sprints. Like, this is a guy who... <laughs> this is a guy who has, like, dominated Giro d'Italia's in the past. And he's won Tour de France stage. Is, is that plural? I know he's definitely won one. He's won two. Okay, cool. I've got it right. But, you know, this is a guy who... And he's got this whole thing with... David go do whether that's just I don't know what that is, but that's just a thing as well. And it's like, is he falling out of love with Rupama a little bit? They do have a lead out train. He would slot in quite well there with Koi, but would that mean that Rupama's going to ship off Demar? But do they have a lead out train? Guanieri is now gone. Sinkeldam's now gone. True. They were the two sort of staples for Demar yeah. when he was gobbling up Giro stages over the past couple of GD. But nowadays, that's what Scotson. They they have a really talented young French sprinter in Paul Penouet, oh, um, yes, who's S tier, S tier French talent. 
literally. Uh, <laughs> but um, I mean, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But for Olaf Koy, yeah, uh, I mean, for him, it's the inverse of Ben Healy. He's not been given opportunities, and it feels like he can definitely progress elsewhere. Where Ben Healy's been given opportunities, he's he's done well. Why would he leave? Olaf Koy has not been given a grand tour start over the past three years. When we've been hyping him up as a great sprint, great young prodigy sprinter, David Decker, who's a very similar age got those opportunities and he didn't and David Decker still left so I think it, it's a natural choice for Koi to leave he was with the team through the dev squad they gobbled him up on a nice contract given that he went through their youth system it made sense for a while but I think now it's time to, to part ways with the Ember project I think Group Armor yeah. could be a nice fit but I know lots of people have been saying Azure Desire but Azure Desire and sprinting oh. doesn't really work well, when was the last time they were sprinting a sprinter is Volturini yeah. and Mark Sarrow. Samuel um, uh, Dumoulin. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it was... Yeah. I just deserve, don't... They're not a particularly sprinter team. Idea. A team would be really smart to bring in Coy and Decker and Danny Van Poppel at the same time. Because Van Poppel's also on our contract yeah. this year. Let's go to our Claire Samsung then. With David Decker and Luca Mozzato, my and boy. And Hofstetter. They are hoovering, vacuuming up World Tour points. <laughs> But, I mean, uh, we're going to continue the theme. We'll get to you, Tour of Hungary, at some point, we hope. 